it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So today, since it is officially October, I actually have my candle burning and my pumpkin and my coziest sweater. And today we are going to be making pumpkin apple spice muffin. So I know we just did a pumpkin recipe last week, but since I have been getting so many requests to do pumpkin recipes, I decided to do one more. I'm not going to bombard you guys with a ton of pumpkin recipes from now on, don't worry, but I just wanted to do these muffins because I was testing them out last week and they turned out really well. It's a super easy recipe and it's something that you can easily whip up on like a Sunday afternoon or Sunday night and then have it for breakfast or snacks throughout the week. You can also freeze these if you have too many and you don't want to eat them all right away, but that is everything. I have to say for now. So let's get straight into the recipe. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. The first thing we are going to do is add the brown sugar, pumpkin puree, non-dairy milk, I'm using almond milk, neutral oil like melted coconut oil or vegetable oil, and the applesauce to a large mixing bowl and mix that all together until it's nice and combined and smooth with no lumps. In a separate bowl, we want to add the flour, baking powder, cinnamon, and ground ginger and whisk that together until it's all combined. Then just add the dry ingredients to the wet and mix it until it just comes together to form a batter and make sure you scrape the bottom so there's no dry ingredients hiding down there. Line nine muffin cups with some paper liners and then divide the muffin batter between all nine muffin cups. As an optional step, I added some chopped pistachios, pecans, and walnuts to give it a really nice crunch. Then just bake it in the oven and make sure at the end you insert a toothpick inside just to make sure that it comes out clean or with a couple crumbs to make sure that they are perfectly cooked. Then just remove them from the oven and add to a serving plate or a cooling rack and enjoy. I just feel so very fall and so cozy right now. I've got my blanket, I've got my sweater that's basically a blanket but with arms. I've got a whole plate of pumpkin muffins with pistachios and walnuts and pecans on top. And I've got my peppermint tea and my favorite mug. So by popular request, I brought back the taste test because I know you guys like just kind of getting an idea of what things actually taste like. So excited. I made these last week and everyone who I gave them to absolutely loved them. Mm -hmm. If you don't love a stronger flavor of pumpkin, because these do have quite a bit of pumpkin in them, so obviously they taste like pumpkin in a good way, but they do taste like pumpkin, you can play with the balance of the amounts of pumpkin puree and applesauce. Do more applesauce and less pumpkin or more pumpkin and less applesauce based on what you like. Growing up, I never really liked when things had nuts on top, but now I just love soft nuts like walnuts, pecans, pistachios. Um, I love because they're easy to chew, but they just give it a little bit of a crunch and so good with chai tea. This is peppermint tea. Because I ran out of my chai, I have to get more, but this is also amazing. It's really hot. <laughs> I changed the background of my phone to a more fall inspired picture. October is off to a really good start, if you ask me. Nobody asked me, but I'm telling you anyway. Oh, they're just so good. I have a feeling I will have eaten quite a few of these by the end of the day. I can't stop. These pumpkin muffins, they're just so good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try out these pumpkin apple spice muffins. If you do, take a photo and tag me on Instagram at itslivebee or now you can tweet me 
I am on Twitter at It's Liv B. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your amazing comments on my last video. I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the new style. And if you have any recipe requests or video requests, of course, you can leave them below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all so much. And I think that is everything for now. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.